Okay, we'll call the meeting. Call the meeting to order. Um, we have uh, a couple. Is is Tom the only member that's online? Tom is Tom is the only member. Uh, Steve's there uh, running the uh, meeting. Okay. On Zoom. Um, first of all, I'd like to recognize and welcome our newest member to the commission, Ryan Hofstetter. Thank you for joining us. You realize that once you get on here, you're committing yourself. It's not really a two-year term or whatever they told you. It's like a 25-year term. <laughs> 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 it's the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> to be good. We've, heard, we've heard that before. <laughs> so welcome. Um, we have a guest, so we'll start, right first. Sure. start with you. This is Ben Kurt. He's oh, sorry, I, I need to get the minutes approved first. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, the minutes have been circulated. Are there any comments or corrections to the minutes? Okay. Seeing none, hearing none, uh, is there a motion to approve the minutes as submitted? I'll make that motion. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Right. Oh, opposed? All right. Or is yours? We have a couple of those. Yep. Let me just give one to Ryan back here. This is a this is basically a sketch plan that he's bringing before you this evening. Why don't you identify yourself for the record here? Yep, Benjamin Kirk, Burgett Associates, representing Amos J and Mary Lynn Real, uh, five fifty six Iron Ridge Road. Okay, so we currently have um, we have an existing twenty acre tract, which is in dark outline here. There's three sides of Iron Ridge Road through the middle. Um, this is Currently, uh, Creekside structures that had existing dwelling, multiple well buildings on there. Um, they live there and run a business on that site. Um, currently, the existing dwelling has well and septic. What he's proposing to do or wants to do is there's an existing 24 by 32 garage with a light dark outline there that he's going to remove and then put in and build and construct a 16 by 20 bath house. It's going to have Split in half, they have one toilet and one shower in each. So, it, so on that one, it's the yellow building is the one that's being proposed, correct? Correct. That is correct. The, yellow is the, yellow. the the other is, as you can see, the perimeter uh, of the um, the foundation is is larger than the the building that they're putting on. This blue area is where we want to do sewer testing. Did I get that far yet? Till we figure out the game plan how we want to proceed here. Um, again, this everything's been in use there, been in operation. So I think we're going to try to add a bathroom for the employees out of there. Doing so, we have to go through sewage planning um, because we're going to be over 800 gallons per day. It's not a lot. Um, so that is unknown. The unknown right now is do we have to make this gentleman go through land development process? Um, our thought is the use is there. We're not adding any use. Um, we're only going to adding sewage that. We shouldn't have to go through that process, but that's what we're going to discuss tonight to get everybody's opinion on that. But we will be going through DEP sewage plan, which we'll have to bring the sewage module to get some of uh, So, can you give us some guidance as to what the relevant language is that determines whether or not land development is required? Yeah, it says uh, the, the way that the Land development definition describes um, a land development is a single non-residential building, um, regardless of you know um, whether it's proposed initial to initially initially or cumulatively. So it's it's that cumulative area that kind of pulls it in. Now, you know the impacts, you know being looked at here are minimal. I mean, they're 
they're not building back to the, even the same size as the previous building. So there's no additional stormwater that would be generated as a result of something like this. Um, if anything, there might be a reduction. Um, but, um, you know, the sewage facilities end of things is being covered by DEP. Um, I don't know really what benefit it would be to do a review on this. I guess my concern is, uh, you know, what precedent you establish and how do you, that's why I'm hoping that the definition would be because I feel if we were coming in there with just had a residential house on this and we were adding a use for the structure or a second dwelling, um, large building, non ag building, I guess that would, that's when we see, I think it would fall in that scenario, being that we're just adding a bathroom to it, all this addition would be as an accessory you know, building. I, I, and that, that is a, an allowed exclusion from the definition of land development for an egg secondary accessory structure to be placed on a property or if somebody were to put a garage on their property they're they're basically waived the requirements or waived from having to supply a land development plan um but the moment you put a principal use like a second residence on a property um, you're into that land development definition again. Um, you read the definition again. I, yeah, I can. Just as I'd have to open it up on my. I have it saved on my computer here, so I'm just pull it up for everybody. What is the current, what is the current use, uh, Jason? The current use is a commercial operation, um, and also a residence Got it. Okay. on the same property. All right, so there'll be a second residence on the same property then? No, no. One, one residence, one commercial operation existing. Got it. Okay. And how many acres total? Yep, 20 acres. 20. Okay. Right. Is it, does a commercial facility uh, have, have uh, uh, sewage facilities or will, will it have that's uh, what we're water and so that's, forth? That's what he's trying to get done, Tom. Got it. Okay. I think that, I mean, from from what I've seen on on similar cases, that would probably be the biggest issue. Is is I would think they're going to need to look at at treating treating both uh, uses separately and and having uh, on lot disposal uh, for for both, unless they do a community type system. That's our goal to have a, a proposed new system for the commercial operation. The existing dwellings will continue to use their existing system. We'll go through DP planning to get the gallons per day for this lot to be what's the use out there currently um, is all we're trying to do. All right. Okay. How about how about alternate uh, backup sites? Uh, is that a is is that a, would that be a hardship? <laughs> I mean, no, that, that no, may, may help. No, it's usually when we submit the DP, they'll come back with a checklist of requirements mm -hmm. and how competitive it is. Um, being it's a high quality there, we might be prepared too, so they, they might require that anyhow. Yeah, I'd have to look, but we'll follow their checklist. And if, if that's something that you guys are asking us to do, I'm sure it would be fine going to backup testing area. We got we got room there to do it. Right. That's what it sounds like. You're not you're not confined by by the amount of area and so forth. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, you're just trying to do it the do it the right way here. It's just we're trying to make it uh, work for them without going through. Too many hoops. That's the shop. That's the commercial space. Yes, yeah, this, this is where they, they actually operate on this one from whatever they do in there. Is there a sewage line coming out of that? No, no, this no, is going to be the only bathroom. It's just so that's this is all we talked about. Strictly office. office. Bath and shower, bath and shower, <laughs> shower, and shower. And the new one, that's it. Period. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like there's commercial. What is going on in my studio? No. no. Do, you, do you know whether they. <laughs> How long has it been doing that? Went through land development when they put the shop in. I do not know that answer. I'm not sure how long it's been there. I know it was surveyed off back in. Nice to be. All right, so 
The definition is any of the following activities. The improvement of one lot or two or more contiguous lots, tracts, or parcels of land for any purpose involving one, a group of two or more residential or non-residential buildings. So it's that. Whether proposed initially or cumulatively, or a single non-residential building on a lot or lots, regardless of the number of occupants or tenure. So it fits at first some grouping for the definition. Um, the division or allocation of land space, whether initially or cumulatively between or among two or more existing or prospective occupants by means of or for the purpose of streets, common areas, leaseholds, condominiums, building groups, or other features. Subdivision of land, de development in accordance with section 503, 1.1 is the exclusion that I was mentioning earlier. And also included in that is the uh, the Dorney Park exclusion, dealing with the uh, amusement parks and, and splitting up space and creating rides in the park. Um, so, I mean, it, it, it does qualify, but I mean, as, as far as like, you know, the underlying benefit of going through the process? Is there anything that that would not be? I'm not gonna anything more besides signature blocks. And... Is there any other access or is there any other land being disturbed with this? No, this is it. The construction of the facility and the place in the building. So so you're not gonna is... need an ENS plan or anything like that because you're not? Right, yeah, this was, uh... So the building off in 2012, the majority of the buildings were right there that we showed um, when they did this. He, he, he does have a both of these tracks, so, so where he does have another building on this track here, we'll not deal with that one. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, but where's the authority for saying, well, you don't need to do that because we don't think it's what was there? I would probably feel a little better if I knew that it had gone through uh, with land development when the other building was put there. Then you could argue and say, well, uh, but uh, what, what do people think? I'm going to come back and somebody down the road while oh, you didn't make him go through the one should I? So the only argument there would be squash most of those cases that we have an existing building to take away and get a smaller one. It's already the building's there. We're just yeah, I, I understand. We could use that building, put a bathroom in it, and we'll have to go through the process. I, I we could attach it to the building and not go through the process. I, I, yeah. I understand that argument. Uh, I mean, in, in certain cases, I think in the past, like if we've had fires, and the fire, they tore our building down and, and reestablished on the existing foundation, and they were allowed to do that without going through the process of land development. Um, you know, maybe maybe for something where they're putting in a reduced size structure would be something that also fit that policy. But the, what you were reading there about the, the <laughs> definition, is that statutory definition or is that our definition? Ours ours is that definition. So it's not it's not Pennsylvania statute that says it, it is. Our, it is. our definition is the same as the Pennsylvania statute. Correct. Yep. I was wondering whether you know, in one of our things we could carve out the. Yeah, we can't. We can't really specifically put but, any type of extra exemptions or exclusions right. to that definition. Um, so that's where it circles back to my initial reluctance to. I'm the only one talking to <laughs> Jason, can you scroll? Can you bring that down so we can read the definition again? Oh, I assume that's what you have right there. I think, yeah, is that? Is that oh, Steve pulled it up, didn't you, Steve? Are you trying to share your screen? Yeah. 
Well, I I have <laughs> I have mine up displaying here, but I think. Yeah. But you're not sharing your screen. Do you want? Yeah. I have to stop share, and you have to hit share screen if you want to show what's on yours. Uh, yeah. Should be okay. on that toolbar at the. You know. Do you want me to stop sharing? I don't have the toolbar like visible right now. Yeah, it it, it it might be a little green thing that if you hover over it, the bar comes up, and one of the things is share screen. Up at the top. Yeah, it could yeah. be at the top or the bottom, either way. Wherever that little green, should see a little green thing on the edge of your uh, display somewhere. It says I'm viewing the TCR PC screen. Yeah, well, you are. But if I stop sharing. No, oh, there you, you go. You should have a share there screen you go. option. Do you see it now? Yep. Okay. Share screen and then just accept the default. Just say share. There you go. Here it comes. Yeah, got it. Okay. It so. There. Is it anticipated that there would be uh, two separate occupants? It's just going to be two two doors open to go on the two toilets. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't hear that. It's just going to be one building, two doors. Each door is going to have a toilet and a shower. In, intended for use by the existing occupant. I think. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a whole existing use out there. I don't think there's any more uses on the lot. Just the accessory structure to the office. Yeah. With the removal of an existing building that's already there. The construction new ones. We're not adding a new building. We're reconstructing it, but we're not adding a new one. Which I think takes away from your definition there by adding a new building or reconfiguring it. If you could call it a building renovation, it'd be. If we keep that renovation there, we'll see what we want. I'm going to be proud of it. Do you use the same concrete? I don't know. 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 You'll need plumbing under the pad, like I can't imagine. How about plans for a building permit? Is that in the works? Do you know any, anything about that? We're going to do sewage tests and so when we get that point off there. <clears throat> this is kind of our first step to see which route he has to go to to make a decision to continue or what he's doing. And, and then these both both structures are, or both buildings are non residential, correct? Right. One's office, one's a storage. All right. It almost feels like that's written for new building construction. Mm -hmm. um, I keep going back to the word improvement. It's just an improvement. Yeah. The fact that we don't have I almost Feel like there was additions and changes made over the years that it doesn't look like this if this from 2012 that was approved looked just like this but the new stuff there were additions so i feel like you know, could get as they do land development could get pulled into retroactively getting all those other additions approved so really what you're saying so everybody on the house as well anytime they build a structure any structure 
land development? I don't. I, I did have that question. Is there a square? Is there a square footage requirement? Well, it's a non-residential zone. A sing, single non-residential, but when you're talking about residential, then you're you're dealing with the first part of that paragraph, where it says a group of two or more residential buildings. Mm -hmm. So two separate two houses would be a land development, yes. but one house not, because you don't find a single residential up but there at the front point, end. His point is a shed. If they put a garden shed out back, that's not land development. No. Because, for what reason? Because it's accessory? Yeah, that's with that other provision. If you see th number three down there at the bottom, it says mm -hmm. development in accordance with section 50311. If I'm yeah, take you there. Hey, Steve, part. can you scroll up to that section? 50311? Or I'm sharing. What am I doing? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let me take us there. Try to. It's the numbering in the MPC could use some improvement too. First contact with this body was here. It is at the bottom. When building a second house on my farm, and oh, shoot. we had to go through land development. All right. Second, second, second. Right. Provisions for the exclusion of certain land developments down here at the bottom. One point one. Yep. It's yeah five zero oh, five. Is it one point one? Okay, so let's take you to the next page where it continues. Everybody get that one? Right up there. There's the farm. Yep, it says also, there it goes, including farm buildings. So the first part of that is where it would apply to a residential situation. Well, that doesn't say anything about. But it could be. But it, it could be. Anything about residential. It says the addition of an accessory building. Period. Period. Yes. One lot. I agree. Lot subordinate to an existing principal building, and you're saying that this building is accessory to the principal building, existing shop. Shop. Right. Okay. So, so to me, if you read that that gives a reasonable reason for not yeah. not requiring the yeah, that was it I, yeah i agree with that i agree with that all right so so there's not going to be any offices in this building this is okay all right i'm so used to having like a building with bathrooms be the office building and the office is only there. Okay. <laughs> Some people's office. <laughs> I guess I can stop sharing. There we go. Well, it doesn't require any action on the part of the commission because it's in an ordinance right. as, as a ordinance. This would not require land development. As long as it is what you're telling us yes. it's going to be, yes. you know, if he's planning to, oh, by the way, I'm going to, you know, mm -hmm. two bathrooms, and also on there for some other business that's not accessory to the primary use there, yeah. he would have an issue. Mm -hmm. Mr. Strick has 15 employees, he tells me, this is what it's going to be useful for them. That's what we're doing. Are they using the trees? I don't know if they're using the trees. Probably the house. Yeah. Probably the house. Yeah. Yeah. Probably don't want to notice. This, this is Ryle, Ryle Construction, correct? No, this is a timber timber creek, right? Uh -huh. 
or is that the Timber name Sox. Timber Timber Sox. Creek? Exactly. And the owner's owner's name is is Ryle R R H E I L R H I. Name is real. Real, correct. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know those guys. So this will come back then for your review to sign the uh, sewage planning model. Alrighty. Any other questions for me? I see the main one. This plan is not spelled the same way as the original one. R I E. Let me check the deed here. R D I. Have a deed with me. Because otherwise, it will get indexed wrong with the courthouse. Yes, you're right. There's a typo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you have it. You have it. I, yeah, I have this one. Thanks. Yeah. Questions on Facebook about what you guys are doing with that piece of crap. I'd like to start off the Facebook room. Uh, huh? I, I've seen this. I'm going to go in there. That's it. Almost oh. every time we got them. So, yes. You know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll move on to communications. They are attached. Does anybody have any questions about any of the communications? I have a couple letters I bring to your attention. Um, they're related to the electric utilities uh, services uh, and some of the stuff that's going on around the county. Um, one is for First Energy, and um, you can see some disturbance acreages that I kind of listed in on the 14 notice uh, for that. Um, they're, they're, what they're doing is they're putting in what they're calling pull pads, um, and these are basically uh, pads that they're going to be bringing heavy equipment into to draw up the uh, fiber optic cable that they're replacing on this on the line, it's going north up out of the county into Juniata. And then um, there's also um, the PPNL uh, project that's going on. That's a, I think it was a chapter 102 form um, that we got for that one. And that uh, is dealing with some pretty large amounts of acreage disturbance as well um, for uh, bringing in equipment to do work um, for, I think there's some, um, reliability issues that they're looking to address with the uh, service in the county and through the county, I guess, as part of the transmission lines. So, yeah, we're definitely putting some investment into Perry County, that's for sure. If anybody wants to take a look at them, I have, I have some drawings, some pretty detailed drawings. I can pass these around. Those that are here. Jason, is some of that tied to the broadband? Well, I mean, the, I don't believe so, Tom. I think, you know, they're, they're laying separate cables within like the public rights away okay. or, or stringing them up on poles or whatever. You broadband? Yeah. Right now, the broadband proposed to Fiber to Home. Fiber to Home. Right now. Yep. Um, second round comes out. The first phase of the second round of funding, we could have some towers, um, but mostly it's going to be the hard wire. That's what I thought. So, I mean, this these are these are the main lines that come through our county. They don't need to truncate off from those particular locations at the present time. They're they're looking at what they have existing in the county, or or starting a new laying towers. Yeah. So where where would they be coming in? I guess. So the the um, first round of money had to be tied to the unserved first and then the underserved. So the most economical way to do this is to use infrastructure it's already in and then upgrade mm -hmm. it. So the infrastructure is already in from grade speed, century length, or whatever you want to call them. It's already in these unserved areas of broadband. So 
um, we went in with an application for them to come in and just run fiber to those homes because their equipment's already there. Um, in our new projects that were coming up, we'll be putting um, junction boxes in different places um, to get to more, like in the work we're starting in the Blaine area, okay? So there's going to be out of 400 and, I don't know, 38 homes, there's like 10 or 12 that aren't right on a line that we have to kind of come off. So there'll be some lines on that way. Yeah. Did you, I mean, the has any of the commission members taken a look at the broadband authority's latest website? And there's there's really good mapping that's put in there. When I'm coming over to Europe, well, to Dave's office one. Yeah, there's we can actually overlay now. Sure. The they finally got it to where it's we actually for the license so that we're allowed to do that. Yeah. Steve, you shared that with us in the office, I think, too, didn't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. But we only have we have less than we have less than three weeks, well, just under three weeks to be able to file any kind of action if those maps are incorrect and the maps are not correct for Perry County. So we have a lot of work to do in the next couple of weeks. Hmm. All right, any other questions on communications? Yeah, on the uh free the free spring church subdivision that we dealt with the last Two or three months that was a conditional approval. I take it everything fell into place. We're, we're getting the, the information back on that, Dave, but we have not received a signed acceptance of the condition by the surveyor on the part of the church. That's the only thing that's kind of lacking, I think. So, you know, as soon as I have that, I think we'd be ready to actually do some stamping to that. Other questions? All right, we'll move on to the payment of expenses. Is there a uh, motion to pay the expenses to Tri County? Make so it moved. Take one as a motion, one as a second. All in favor, aye. Seven. Uh, report. This report is in your materials. Is there a motion to accept the treasurer's report? Moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Those, all right, LPA report, page 12. Um, there were three meetings. I didn't, uh, I just had one in uh, New Buffalo. So that's another one to add to that list. Uh, in New Buffalo, we spoke to them. Uh, there's, there's an interest there um, in doing joint municipal zoning. Um, our region doesn't even have one pair of municipalities that are actually doing joint municipal zoning at the present time. So this would be a unique situation. Um, my suggestion to New Buffalo Borough was to first establish a planning commission or a planning committee um, and begin to look at the details for um, moving forward. Obviously, it would be in their best interest if Watts Township was amenable to a working arrangement to work with them um, to establish that joint zoning ordinance, in which case they could uh, assign a zoning district, leave the ordinance intact, and not have to create a whole new ordinance. Just say it's an R2 area or whatever they decide and just move on. As long as they don't get into splitting hairs over, you know, what uses are, you know, needed to be located in there. If they can accept the ones that are allowed as permitted use by Watts Township and just go with it, that would be fine. Um, but anyway, they're, they're going to, I helped draft a letter that they could send, the council could send to Watts Township supervisors, seeing if they would be agreeable to that type of an arrangement. Um, they have a zoning hearing board of three members. They might want to have to, they might want to expand that to five and then assign one member position to New Buffalo so that there's not so much of a, you know, a disparity, I guess, in terms of the population and how much voice they would have on that board. So um, anyway, 
That's um, in Newport. We'll continue to work with them on their shade tree ordinance update. Um, and then in Oliver Township, there, uh, Ben's working with them on the um, the Saldo update. He also mentioned to them, I guess, about the open um, or the public. Let me think. Open house that was held on the the, the regional safety plan. To it, it was in Carlisle. So. All right. Any questions? All right, we'll move on to a program progress report. Is that you, Steve? Yes. Give me one second here to scroll it up. There you go. Um, you can hear me okay. Uh, I only have a handful of updates uh, for you this evening. Jason just mentioned our um, regional safety uh, action plan. Um we did have a series of public meetings. We're a little past halfway done. Uh, right now, the most active part of it is they opened up a funding round for demonstration projects. So we've been working with our steering committee uh, to come up with ideas for, uh, for demonstration projects. Uh, these are just by the nature of the beast, short-term improvements that could be made at key locations, or they could be program enhancements like enforcement or, or that type of thing. Um, so we're going through that. Those applications are due in April. So we're working with the committee. Uh, in terms of Perry County participation, I'll say that the most active uh, participation, and it has been very active, uh, is from the state police. We've had a, a couple of members of the state police barracks uh, up there in Newport that have really been engaged in this process and, and helping with it. But anybody has any questions or ideas of what might be a, uh, you know, an idea for a demonstration project to improve roadway safety, feel free to let me know. Uh, also on the planning front, we are nearing completion of the regional active uh, transportation plan. So that's, this is all things bike ped. Um, We'll have a draft here, I believe, in April uh, that we can share. It'll be online, but we can share that information with the commission, uh, offer you the chance for any comment. Um, also, here in, in May starts our annual uh, program of doing traffic counts. You know, the, most of those are assigned to us by PennDOT, but we always get a handful of municipalities that might have some areas of specific concern that they ask us uh, maybe to provide counts. So we do that um, as, you know, staff time allows. So anybody's aware of a specific problem area or suggestion for counts, um, feel free to reach out. Um, and then last couple things I have here are, are things uh, that basically uh, Mr. Finnerty has completed for you. We did wrap up the 2023 annual report believe he shared that. Um, and he has also uh, finalized work on the uh, 2024 edition of the community e-data booklet. And I have here, uh, you know, continued work on the uh, subdivider slash developer guide. So a number of things he's been working on there that are good resource documents for, for folks in Perry County. So with that, those are my highlights, unless anyone has any questions. Any questions for Steve? All right. Thank you. We'll move on down to the business. It's a very... um, yeah, we we completed our um our follow-up round for the non-participating municipalities by going out and speaking to the boards of supervisors. Um since they are all townships. Um I think Brenda and I are going to probably be revisiting Wheatfield Township. Um, there's been some misinformation that's been spread about the process and the plan. Um, we want to kind of take care of that and re-educate, you know, those that are professing to know about the plan when they haven't picked up the phone to call staff. So, um, yeah, it's just a little bit of damage control so that it doesn't spiral um 
having an issues going on these days. But okay. it's been, it, I mean, as far as that process goes, it's been kind of uh, good because there have been many, many additional ears to hear what's being talked about and discussed. So um, much different arrangement than sitting there talking just directly with the supervisors at some of the townships. Um, I think we, we've we had 20 plus people at Carroll Township, at Liverpool Township, um, Rye, at probably about 10, I think down at Rye, there were probably about 10 at Rye, uh, but 90 at Wheatfield. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know, I mean, it, it's, I'm looking to see if any change their opinion and decide to to, to come on board. Um, I've extended an offer to, you know, help steer them through um, public hearing process if they need to do that again. At this point, um, you know, we left it up to the solicitor to advise them on that. So time will tell. Hopefully, you know, we can get one of them to change this year. All right, any questions on that? Any new on hazard mitigation? Just that I submitted our quarterly report. Um, we are looking to get that project going, I think in May with the consultant. Um, so there should be some movement between the next uh, fiscal quarter. Mm -hmm. All right, any, new one? any questions on that? Uh, CAC implementation. We, we had a meeting um, on Monday, um, just an update. Our conservation district staff, I think they had their annual meeting on Monday night, so they were probably doing some uh, preparation work for that. They weren't at the uh, CAP meeting, so I didn't get any new updates on, you know, where, um, you know, the, the district has um, maybe made some advances for the cap, but I'm sure that they they probably have some things to document in the next month. Any questions on that? All right, move on to subdivision land development. Uh, Stoltzfus. Um, I understand they've requested the, a... the, There's an extension request on the time frame for this one. Um, we do have the municipal comment since last month. And um, we do have a, um, I think we have DEP approval on that one, yep. So uh, with the municipal comment, the uh, comment that was brought back to the commission was be sure driveways are approved by state due to site distances and number of driveways. That's the notes that we have from the township. So, um, I don't think there's a specific date that they're, oh wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, they, we received that on the 18th, so it was this week. Um, Rogers asked for a 90-day extension, so it would be on the tail end of, let me see what the date is here. Uh, the 90 days expires April 10th. So it would have been before next month's meeting. They want a 90 day on top of that. And, uh, okay. But Anybody have any issues with that? Very motion to uh, grant the applicant's request. Thank you. Second. Second. Any discussion? <clears throat> All in favor, aye. 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 All right. Sewage facilities. Anybody have any questions on there are these plans? One in center, one in pen. Anything significant on either of those? Um, the one in center is a four lot subdivision. I think we might have already taken a look at that one. Um, it's basically on early road. So if you go into Mansville, if you take a left, it's 
there's a wooded section up along the, the west side after you get past the church. Um, and you're just lotting off some of that area. Um, the other one, I think, is, is, this is this is just a building lot that's being proposed on the one side of this larger lot. So no real issues. I mean, we, we reviewed it. It's just a matter of ratifying staff comment at this time. All right, any questions? Not a motion to ratify staff comments. Second. 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 That'd be quicker. <laughs> <laughs> So that's an omnibus motion for both of them? Yeah. Okay. Been seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Intergovernmental review for Marysville. Uh, and the borough is looking to relocate its offices in uh, Marysville. They've, there's a bank property that's for sale down just off the square and um, they're looking to acquire that ground and um, relocate their offices to the center of town basically That's and i think they're applying for the um the broadband funding for this so there's it's not technically broadband it's, it's things to bolster the use of public broadband so they're sliding in on a very thin line that they're going to have um, computers available to them. They first have to purchase the property, and then they have to have engineering plans done to really do something and upgrade the building and get their money to do that. So that's why it's this, so. this first grant is very small. So it's not one point eight million. They're not going to, they won't touch it, okay. the whole project for that. Yeah. It's it's going to need matching yeah. funds. Yeah. So they will use the money. They there's like I said, it's a very thin line, but they can use mm -hmm. this money because that's what their their goal is to do. They can use it for planning too, um, a percentage of it. I can't remember how the calculation works, but they think a percentage of the total amount of more than they will more than ten thousand dollars. A percentage of that can be used for planning, and then the rest is used for construction. If this were to go through, Brenda, did they indicate like what they intend to do with their current facilities at the top of the hill on Overlook? They did not. They, I could see a they development going in that property that. with the um, views up there. Yeah. It's going to be a while. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah. But the library is going to, there's there's talk of the library. and The library will be in there. There will be some other uh, human service, um, technically human service offices in there. So it will be nice if, if it can happen. It will be very nice. It's a pretty modern building. It's, I mean, it's. I remember, it's built for a bank, so they have challenges. That's the, that's the scary part is they have challenges because of the way it was built for a bank. But I think it's, it's a great reuse of the building. Um, so it will be run down. And I think that it's going to be good for the public. We just got to figure out some funding mechanisms for them. Hmm. So so what kind of money are we talking about initially? Well, the the one million eight hundred thousand is is being looked at for this grant. Yeah, but there's over um, well, there's the asks going in for that, I can't remember all the details, but the asks for this funding stream is eight times the amount of It's extremely competitive. Um, and what I understand from Harris Group when I was down in this week meeting with the Broadband Authority, they um, they are really, not to say that they won't do anything, but they're really meeting towards projects that are shovel ready, that are ready to move. And, and that's the only thing we did support as commissioners. We supported this project with a letter, mm -hmm. but it, it's it's a stretch for them, unfortunately, because they're just not that far along yet. Yeah, are they competing with the county for these same yeah, funds? We dropped those. Okay. I did actually have one ready to go, but we dropped it so we wouldn't be competing against them. So there's no other municipality no. in the county that nope. that's in competition. That would be the only thing that helps them. 
their competition is with other, okay. other okay. places in the state. Okay. But they still will fight for every other county, 60, six other counties in the state. Right. Hmm. Jason. J Jason, I had, a, I had a question, I guess, relative to available parking, and is that sufficient for what's proposed in terms of needs and so forth? I don't know that the parking available in the in in the square there is is yeah, all that they, they, great. They, yeah, they. I mean, other than that, they have on street parking down there, so I mean, it's there's a lot of on street parking opportunities in the, yeah. in the general area. But then you know, if there's events being held at the like the at the at the was it the um, the moose that's downtown or is it the elks? It's on the square. Um, well, there's yeah, but there's not. They don't have any parking lots. Everything that they park downtown or that they consider their downtown. It's in that triangle. Yeah, it's in that triangle. So, and they won't. They won't have a problem. Who's going to say no to that? Mm-hmm. I mean that's it makes sense for like a, a community with its with a downtown to be I mean you look at Newport, Newport's in their downtown, you know, um the walking there really Liverpool's like within a block of their downtown, you know, it's it's not Marysville's always been at the top of the hill. You know, the closest thing they have is the Rye Senior Center. Um but yeah, anyway, it's it's looking long term for the community and what might be best for them, you know, for people needing permits and things coming into their town. It, you could kind of have a little bit better view or understanding of your community by being right down there where the pulse of everything is going on economically. I don't know. But the pizza shop. Yeah, <laughs> that might be <laughs> too on, small. <laughs> it's just, you know, call, call it what it is. Come on. Yeah, downtown, Main Street, you know, it, it's coming. And we're, we're working with the, the Main Street program is really trying to enhance each each borough. Um, and they are, they are making strides in it. So right now it might just be a pizza shop, but we're working on that, so you know, things have to start somewhere. Yeah, I think I think to the north, to the north uh, on the other side of the, uh, the residential area and so forth, uh, there, there's a church up there that, you know, that that to me that that has them a bigger community feel. Uh, I mean, the fact that you've got the triangle and historically what what has occurred there and, and with the railroad and so forth. Um, yeah, you know, there there are folks driving on eight fifty, um, uh, and and uh, when they hit eleven and fifteen, there if the if the light is red, they'll cut across the the triangles just so they can uh, uh, hit hit the adjacent uh, road uh, to the south there and come out on uh, come out on eleven and fifteen and uh, and uh, merge or go right into traffic so to avoid the the signal. <laughs> uh, but so so there's a fair amount of traffic, I guess. And and uh, by by parking along the streets, that just confines things and makes it makes it. I, I think going to see more of a more of a hazard death uh, from that going on with it. But anyway, any other questions on that? So your your letter is in support of their. Request it is um, that it's not in competition with anything else going on in the county, and knowing that they're facing tough opposition. Yeah, it, it does this work, and everybody had a chance to kind of look that over. It was kicked out with the app or monthly agenda. So, um, all right, uh, you know, we want to make a motion to. to Second, any further discussion? All in favor, aye. All right, who cares? Ben Cannon. 
Um, well, this is um, kind of in lines with the, the efforts that our regional uh, planning commission um, in terms of uh, um, a active transportation plan. The, the regional active transportation plan and and um, under that, the, uh, the the regional planning commission is encouraging municipalities to look at active transportation plans individually to offer up projects under the regional plan. So, um, Pannoni is, I guess, the engineer that's working with uh, uh, Duncan and Burrow, and, and they've offered this uh, request up for some funding through the walk, Health Walk Works um, program. And um, there's a letter here to support that. Um, with this, we are also um, advising them to um, communicate or basically coordinate their efforts with the hometowns program um, so that there's they're complementing, you know, what it is that hometowns is doing as well. Because I know that there's a key pedestrian component that's part of that Main Street program. And um, I, I would hate to see duplication of effort there. So, Steve, do you have anything to, to offer on that too? No, other than to say you're exactly right. We've been encouraging and we've been working with a number of municipalities doing their own localized plans to complement the, the kind of larger scale things that are in the regional plan. So, um, Duncannon would be one of a, a number of municipalities who have taken this route. All right. Well, is there a motion to uh, send that letter of support for their application? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Your financial statements have been circulated. Fill them out and get them back to Jason. Yep. When do you need those by? May 1st. Uh, May 1st. <laughs> <All right>. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else for the good order? Hey, hey, Jim. Could I add one? Can I ask a question? Sure. Uh, I, I did, maybe I missed it, but under seven A number number two there, the municipal. Ah, the, you know, you, oh, yeah, we missed that. Missed that. <laughs> Good catch, Steve. Thank you. So we have the uh, review report. Review and report. Eighteen. Are the two in Greenwood just? I think one of them might be a neighbor of mine close to me. What numbers are they? Uh, no, Fisher and uh, Beaver. Uh, beaver. There's pressure. Yeah. Do you want to see there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. oh, you, you remember what it was? It was like a figure shape four, reverse yeah. four, and all of those lots were out in there. Now this new one is just because the lots up along the road. Oh, but there's, but there's also. The back on the other the one. The one's along the dark hall. Oh, they're on this track, too. These were actually, these were on this one. They're on the other side. 
Now I'll use your back down in the yellow. You know where the lines go far too long. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I think it's for looking at advertising for existing This is the existing storage. This is the existing. This is the this is proposed. So this how the house is being watered on for you. What is the barn? The, the barn's right here. The, the entertainment barn. Right here. So this is on this side, right? Yeah. Okay. This so is the house. Yeah. So that's cool. I'm doing this two yep. acres. That's a lot. This is a lot. I didn't realize they had this too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they were going to try to put their parking over there. Oh, mm. right. yeah. 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 That's good. That'll make a nice lot. That'll make a nice lot. Very nice. Yeah. This one will come out. That doesn't make any sense. They'll come on back over in here. It doesn't, does it? It might better have been this yep. piece. But anyway. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.